My name is Punyawat Mantanon. I play the narrator. My name is Chai Chan Kham Kham. I play as Captain Stubble. My name is Thirapat Wan Kijaran. I play as Miss Pai, Tom, and the Terminal Sarah Rex. My name is Thanyapat Thanyatinan. I play as Captain Flynn and Part Pearl. My name is Napa Sankam and I play as the narrator and Pirate Violet, all in seventh grade, and we are a team of Yojin Fine SD! Yojin Bruna Reserve! Captain Flynn and the Pirate Dinosaurs, written by Giles Andrea, illustrated by Russell Ato. This is Flynn. He's wearing his pirate t shirt and coloring in the picture he has drawn of a dinosaur. Flynn loves dinosaurs. One day at school, Flynn was coloring in a new dinosaur picture when he realized he didn't have quite enough pens. Why don't you have a look at our arts cover, Flynn? said Miss Pie, his teacher. I think there are more colors at the back. So Flynn opened the door and stepped into the cupboard. There were lots of paints and both but Flynn couldn't see any pens. As he searched, he heard a noise. Boo, 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 boo. And then sniffle, snuffle, sniffle. Right at the back of the cupboard, under an old curtain, was something shaking and shuddering like a giant jelly. Flynn crept closer and closer. When he lit up the curtain, he couldn't believe his eyes. It was a real live pirate captain. Hello, said Flynn. What's the matter? The pirate, whose name was Captain Stubble, sniffed and looked at Flynn. My ship, they have stolen my ship. He sobbed. One minute I was fast asleep, and the next I was in the water, wishing my precious ship, the acorn, sail away. But who has stolen it? Asked Flynn. I don't know, said Captain Stubble. But as I watched, I heard it roar. And then a strange kind of song, it went. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho. Something is something. Go, go, go. Hmm, very strange, said Flynn. How will you get your ship back? I don't know. Where's Sir Captain Stubble? I can't do it on my own. I could help said Flynn bravely. And so will we! It was Flynn's friends, Pearl, Tom, and Violet. We love adventures! They said. And just at that moment, back of the cupboard fell away, and they all tumbled out. Into a bright blue day, where an opera ship was waiting. She's not quite what I'm used to, said Captain Stubble. But if this ship helps me find my beloved acorn, then she'll do for me. All the port. Write me, Hardys, said Captain Stubble. If you're going to be pirates, you need to look like pirates. Flynn brandished a gleaming silver cutlass. Ching! And since you seem to be so brave, Flynn, he said, you can be captain of this ship. I'd much rather be the cook. So Captain Flynn took over, and they sailed and sailed in search of the acorn. The pirates were about to give up hope. When Pirate Violet shouted from the crow's nest, Ship ahoy! Stubble grabbed his telescope. That's my precious acorn! He cried. Let's board it! Cried Captain Flynn. And reclaim your ship from those pirate daddies. All hands on deck! They sailed faster and faster and got closer and closer. When they were nearly alongside, Captain Flynn put the telescope to his eye. His face went white. They're not just... Ordinary pirates! He stammered. They are... Pirate dinosaurs! And that's exactly what they were. There was a pirate Diplodocus. <laughs> a pirate Stegosaurus. <laughs> a pirate Triceratop. <laughs> and a pirate Pterodactyl. <laughs> And right at the helm of the ship, steering its course with its paws on the wheel, was a great, big, pirate, Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
When he saw Captain Flynn, he roared almighty. Roar! The dinosaurs sang out in the terrible voices. Yo, yo ho, ho! Yo, ho, ho! Pirate dinosaurs, go, go, go! Attack! Crack Captain Flynn and the great battle began. Flynn, crack, swish, splash! It wasn't long before all the pirate dinosaurs jumped overboard in terror. All except the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He roared almighty. Roar! Captain Flynn... Captain Flynn could see his huge sharp yellow teeth and his tonsils wobbling ferociously at the back of his throat. I challenge you to a duel! Shouted Captain Flynn. Oh, I'm going to cut you up into little pirate sausages! Yelled the Tyrannosaurus Rex, dribbling greedily. Then I'm going to put you on the barbecue and eat you up with much too much tomato ketchup! He added. Oh no, you are not! Yelled Captain Flynn and charged! Oh. Three calluses flashed! and crashed, and bashed, and smashed for at least two hours and then five minutes until, finally, the Tyrannosaurus Rex was exhausted. Captain Flynn, he stammered. I surrender. You are such a great pirate that you should be the captain of all the pirate dinosaurs. Please spare me and I promise I'll be the goodest goodie in the world. Honest. Then maybe one day, I will be your captain, replied Captain Flynn. But now, we'd better get back to school. It's almost lunch time. So Captain Flynn took the wheel of the acorn, while Pirate Pearl, Pirate Tom, and Pirate Violet untied the crew, stubble made a delicious shark's fin stew. When they got to the harbor, they waved goodbye to Captain Stubble and to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Flynn saw that the door they had fallen through was still hanging open. So they all clambered in. And instantly, they were back among the paints and rolls of paper and pots of glue. Flynn grabbed some coloring pens and they all crept back in the classroom. And they all lived happily ever after, said Miss Pie, closing the book she had been reading. You've been in that harbor a long time, Flynn. What have you been doing? Flynn smiled secretly at his friends. Oh, nothing, he said. Nothing really at all. Okay, but don't go anywhere yet. Thank you very much. That was so right. cute. <laughs> okay, that was very cute. And right now, I would like to. We're going to hear some comments from Miss Arya, please. Right, well, very animated uh, reading. You look like you all had fun during the reading, and I'm sure you had fun uh, preparing for um, today. It must have been uh, pretty tough getting ready with five people, right? Splitting your roles and the sounds and uh, the acting. So uh, it came out um, pretty well, um, right? You know, I enjoyed myself. Just a few um, suggestions. After you, you know, kind of step back and do the acting and the movements, you might want to remind yourself to, to come back closer to the microphone again, because sometimes you're a little bit busy with the the actions and you you are a little bit too far from from the microphone and because it's a pretty long um, story right so uh, make sure that that you're going away from the microphone and coming back and the reading and the balance uh, the the reading and the acting um, are uh, balanced um, but I'm sure we'll see you again next time thank you okay thank you very much Miss Aria and thank you, thank you.